Hello, my awesome Cappies. I missed you. Cappies, I hope you're doing wonderful. Happy Thursday to you. Happy weekend to you. I'm excited for us. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. <clears throat> Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cappies. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn, for Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in the life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> what's coming up for Capricorn in the life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Cappies. Extra message, very important. <clears throat> yeah, so... Cappies, you see your soulmate as not really reciprocating, not giving you commitment that you were hoping for. You feel that you've been putting much more work, effort, time, energy into this relationship or connection than they have. So this person has been in and out of your life. Yeah, this has been an off and on, off and on connection. And you're looking really for something steady. You're looking for a relationship that is meaningful that is long term that's reciprocal that you feel you are treated equally yeah you're not communicating right now although you feel there's a great need to clear the air communicate with this person you're not reaching out at this time yeah you feel it's best for you to hold back at this time yeah you've been waiting patiently uh, for this person to show you a sign that yes they want to move forward to another chapter with you or uh, do something different. Um, hmm. So this painting shows me that you are on different, um, um, on a different path in this lifetime than this person is. Like you are uh, showing up here as very advanced spiritually and um, have different interests. Um, and they showing up here... Um, as not really wanting to commit at this time. Yeah, for whatever reason, whether they have something going on in their life or are scared, whatever the reason is. You are concentrating on your job, business, finances, money, profit, financial independence, stability is very important to you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies in their life. And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? A lot of you are dealing with Sagittarius, but there could be any sign. Yeah, you see, this is you. Uh, you're not sure where this person is heading in this connection with you, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Yeah, you see? So you clearly see this relationship as greatly unbalanced. You put in so much work, time, effort, energy into this relationship than they were able to put in. You see, their pentacle is tiny compared to your big pentacle. And you feel unbalanced, unreciprocated. Yeah, your energy is beautiful. You want someone to balance your energy, to be reciprocal, and you're not finding it in this connection. Yeah, so you walked away. You did tell them uh, how disappointed you are. This is you letting them go. You you let them go. Mm-hmm. You let them go more than once, however. Let me see. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Hmm. What's coming up for Cappies in their life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on the summit journey? Yeah, you see? So you, you felt being at the crossroads before. And this is... You feel like you're going to have to make a final decision. Like you can't be uh, going back and forth, back and forth uh, in this situation. You want something stable. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're concentrating heavily on your job, business, finances, money, investments. Yeah, financial stability is important to you. Who is this new person showing up here? So there's somebody interested in you or coming towards you, showing up as Knight of Cups. Um, someone emotional towards you, like interested in you on a romantic level. Yeah, right now you are trying to concentrate on your financial stability, independence, prosperity. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here with this. Yeah, this is money, job, finances, new job offers. Yeah, propositions. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you see? So you feel like this is not going anywhere, this connection with your soulmate. You see arguments, disagreements. Yeah. Not seeing eye to eye. What's going on at your job, though? People are bickering. There's a lot going on. People are not getting along. Uh, this energy is uh, bothering you, though. It's affecting you, whether you realize it or not. The energy at your job or business, even if you work from home, it's affecting you, you see? So there's a lot of bickering going on between different people at your job or business, arguments. Uh, gossiping. Let me see what's going on with your soulmate. Like you feel you need to find balance. Yeah. And you will. You're very grounded sign. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn. And how is the soulmate of Capis towards Capis at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn? They showed up twice as Knight of Swords. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn. And how is the soulmate of Capis towards Capis at this time? They're holding on to you. So this person hasn't released you. Yeah, wow. Uh, justice is showing up here. So uh, this person wants to... Fix something, do something, correct something, make something even, uh, make amends. Yeah, they want to see you so badly. So this person feels a great need to see you. And they're wondering uh, if that's going to happen, uh, what they need to do, how they need to proceed. But they think it may be too late, meaning that they think you let them go. This person's concerned that uh, you may not want to listen uh, to what they have to say. But this shows me that they have hard time um, showing they are emotionally vulnerable, hard time uh, apologizing to you for what happened. So something serious happened where you walked away. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cappies and how is the soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time. This person loves you a lot. That's why they're holding on to you. They really do love you. Deep, genuine, real love for you, they feel. Yeah, they do. Oh, so there were some serious disagreements, arguments, you see. This person wants to uh, correct whatever was done wrong. They want to correct it, make it even. This is them heartbroken, sad, not communicating right now. They feel you moved on with your life. They view you as powerful, taking your power back, moving on, very independent person, strong-willed person. They want to figure out what's going on in your mind, what you're thinking, what you're planning, what you're feeling. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cappies. This is them trying to learn important lessons from what happened. This is them looking over everything objectively, uh, making wise assessment of this whole situation based on how they feel towards you. So this person realized they're not able to completely move on and let you go because of how they feel about you. They're concerned that there are people in your life that maybe don't want to see them back. 
Yeah, so somehow this person either, either feels or is aware that there are certain people in your life that maybe don't want to see them back or are worried about you. Yeah, new soulmate showing up here for you. This person that wants to come back to you for communication is concerned that um, you're going to be with somebody else. And the reason why they're concerned is because of how they feel about you emotionally. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't be concerned. But uh, you said something to them that hurt them very deeply, but it's because you told the truth. Maybe they didn't want to hear or mm, were scared to hear or uh, weren't ready to hear, but you, you told the truth and you needed to be honest, and you were. Yeah, this is them heartbroken and quiet at this time. Trying to figure out how to approach this correctly. Let me see what's going on here. So this is reverse. This is them not taking action right now. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cappies. And how is the soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time? Yeah, you see? Wow. So they did, in fact, try to completely release you, move on completely, and... Uh, it didn't work. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you. Yeah. Unable to let you go. They worry that there's somebody else approaching you. Yeah, they're quiet. They're trying to heal from this heartbreak. They're feeling. Yeah. This is them wishing, hoping, praying for some kind of uh, communication to happen. Let me see one more message for my fabulous Cappies. Let me see. Yeah, so you felt unloved, unappreciated, taken for granted. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies. Ooh, so you endured a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. Yeah, you did. You endured a lot of heartbreak. Mm. And this is you healing from that heart. Yeah, you see? Your back is turned towards that heartbreak now. You, you're taking your power back and you're moving on with your life. Healing, releasing the past, not dwelling on the past. Yeah. Oh, this hurts you a lot. A lot of, yeah, emotional roller coasters you went through. A lot of heartbreak. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Yeah. So this is you trying to be positive. New soulmate entering your life. Let me see this. Yeah, you see? A lot of fights, disagreements, arguments uh, that you don't want to deal with anymore. We're going to go into your extended reading, but we're going to ask about both soulmates since they both showed up. We're going to ask about the soulmate that wants to come back to you. We're going to ask about their true long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Um, then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life that showed up several times as Knight of Cups, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.